Hello guys, have you ever thought that dolphins and whales being mammals have nothing to look for in the water? And because they live in this environment, how do they do things like sleeping? Maybe not. I will try to present this today. Marine mammals such as whales and dolphins spend their entire lives at sea. So how can they sleep and not drown? Observations of bottlenose dolphins in aquariums and of whales and dolphins in the wild show two basic methods of sleeping. They either rest quietly in the water, vertically or horizontally, or sleep while swimming slowly next to another animal. Individual dolphins also enter a deeper form of sleep, mostly at night. It is called logging, because in this state a dolphin resembles a log floating at the water surface. While sleeping, the bottlenose dolphin shuts down only half of his brain, along with the opposite eye. The other half of the brain stays awake at a low level of alertness. This attentive side is used for watch predators, obstacles and other animals. It also signals when to rise to the surface for a fresh breath of air. After approximately 2 hours, the animal will reserve this process, resting the active side of the brain and awaking the rested half. This pattern is often called catnapping. To avoid drowning during sleep, it is crucial that marine mammals retain control of their blowhole. The blowhole is a flap of skin that is toothed to open and close under the voluntary control of the animal. Although still of matter of discussion, most researchers feel that in order to breathe, a dolphin or whale must be conscious and allowed to recognize that its blowhole is at the surface. Humans, of course, can breathe while the conscious mind is asleep. Our subconscious mechanisms have control of this involuntary system. But equipped with a voluntary respiratory system, whales and dolphins must keep part of the brain alert to trigger each breath. It is actually rare for a marine mammal to drown, as they won't inhale underwater. But they do suffocate from a lack of air. Being born underwater can cause problems for newborn whale and dolphin calves. It is the touch of air on the skin which triggers that first, crucial breath. And necropsies sometimes show that an animal never gets to the surface to take its first breath of air. The same problem can occur when an animal is caught in a fishing net. If unable to reach the surface, or if in a panic, the animal may dive deeper, where it will be unable able to breathe and suffocate. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.